In today's recording, I'm going to show you how to use Firebug. It's an add-on program for Firefox, which is my favorite testing environment. I have it up and running. It's easy, it's free. If you do a Google search on Firebug, make sure you're in the current version of Firefox. Very easy to install. Once you have it loaded, you can go into Tools, Web Developer, Firebug, and that will open up this panel on the bottom of your web browser screen. It has a lot of cool options. You can look at the HTML code. You can view the CSS code, which it finds just from where it's linked to. You can look at the script. That's my JavaScript that's linked to. You can see the values of the document object model. You also have additional features for Net and Cookies that I'm not going to get into. One of the things that I really like is that when I'm looking at the HTML code, it will show me the padding, the margins, the CSS. It also makes each section expandable, including the files that it links to. So where I'm linking to CSS, I can expand this and see my CSS file. I can also expand and see my linked JavaScript file. You cannot make changes in here, but it lets you see everything that's going on. I can go into each division, div tag, and you'll notice that if I hover over a form element, it highlights it for me. And I like that it gives me the layout with the padding, the border, the margin, showing me exactly how my CSS is being applied. It also does computed, which these are not specific variables that I've set because I'm using M's, and it shows me the different fonts. It gives me the styles so I can see what styles are being applied to a particular area. So I'm in the body. It shows what CSS styles are being applied to it. This can be incredibly helpful when you're trying to solve problems. But for today, I want to use it to do some JavaScript testing. Now you can see that my entire JavaScript is working here. I can hit Submit. You can't really see that it's working right now because I already had it in here. I'm going to clear I have the console and I have some special code in here to show me in the console what my length, width, and height are. And if I hit submit, when it runs, it gets me the length, the width, the height. It shows me which line it's coming from. Let's take a quick look at my JavaScript code. I'm going to deliberately introduce an error and then I'll show you how I did the logging. I'm going to put the letter S in instead of a dollar sign right here. That should be an error. To update when you're working with Firebug, you need to go in, make your changes, save them, and then you have to refresh the page. Now if I hit submit, I should get an error. And you'll notice that my error appears right in the console. You can look at the references not defined. This is in the calculate cost function. Better yet, you can go directly to the line that the error is on. And you can see that I have this S here instead of the dollar sign. So it shows me right where my error is at. That testing skills is way above. You'll notice in here, I don't get any errors in Optana. I can go through and retest this by closing and reopening the page, hit submit, and then go back to here and it's still not giving me any indication that I have an error. So this is a great tool to add to my toolbox using Firebug for testing. So I've changed it back to the dollar sign. I'm going to save it, bring my script right back over here, and now again refresh it to make sure it's really working. Hit Submit, go to the console, let's hit Clear, hit Submit, and you can see it's working again and I get my length, width, and height. Now the code that you have to put in to get that to work, it's in two parts. You'll have to put in a function where I've declared a variable dollar sign $log function. I do an if statement to make sure that the console object and log object both exist. Console log apply console and arguments and then log length which will show me the length. This is what it displays with it. Height, width. And so then in that case, when I'm testing it in the console, my length, 
width and height will show up. If I'm not using a browser with a console, most of them will ignore that statement anyway, but just in case the if statement means that you won't get anything funky happening. So here I am in Chrome. I can hit submit. I can change a value here to show you that it's working. Make sure it's current. All right, let's try that again. 15, 10, 15 or 14, and hit submit. It's working, and if you don't have the log enabled, it just won't show anything. So that's testing code that you can put in, but by having that if statement in, it makes sure that even if the browser would normally ignore the code or not normally ignore the code, it ignores it because it will only run that code if you have a console available to you. So you want to include that so you don't cause errors if you accidentally leave your testing code in when you are done developing your application. So that's how to use Firebug. It's a great tool. Those are just a few of the features that it has. It can do a lot more, like setting breakpoints and stepping into code. And using that hand-in-hand -hand with Optana makes your development easier and quicker. So I highly recommend it. Great free tool. And that's how you use Firebug.